We got new CJ the champ, Dio, the generational Take a hater. step, I dare you. So he Filming tries to climb it. The greatest of bridge series on but YouTube. he keeps on climbing the same yeah, stair Filming over CJ and over and over again. Dio's like, wow, what's right wrong? You on 400 pink or something? You know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm going to sit in this chair that's conveniently here right over this staircase. Now this is about to be about JoJo's Bizarre, uh, whatever. I haven't ever really watched that, but I've reacted to so much anime rap that I basically have, so. Alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return it. to the round table of Black Air Force Act. Black Air Force and our greatest Energy. challenger yet has finally approached to be judged and to take his rightful seat at this sacred table of menaces. And it is none other than the greatest hater in anime history, Dio. The king of hating ass niggas. The pettiest oh, yeah, no, of the hater. petty. Probably one of the greatest ops of all time. This man is truly Black Air Force incarnate. So, bro, I ain't even gonna waste no time with this one. So, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And it is finally time to observe the generational hater. So, without further ado, they said exhibit generational. A. That sounds time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, Dio Brando. So, to understand why this man has the most out of pocket hatred, we gotta go all the way back to 1880. So Dio started off in the trenches. Man was playing chess for money, getting beat up in the bar, and living in this old ass shack, so bro hella down bad. So his dad is dying, right? So he tells him, <coughs> oh, sh right, listen here, boy. When I die, take this letter to the Joestar family. <laughs> now you see them niggas owe me a debt. <laughs> I tell you, they some rich ass motherfuckers too. So you know what to do. Rob them niggas. Take every last set. Make Pappy proud. So he they dies, so Dio's at the cemetery. He's like, hmm, about damn time your old ass died. I ain't gonna lie, I fucking hated you. You drove mama to die. You was a piece of shit, so you can eat a dicko. He got that permanent hater scowl on his face. You see that? That's, you just wake up hating. Pussy. So later on, Dio pulls up to the Joestar mansion. So Jonathan's like, hi, my name's Jonathan. This is my dog, Danny. So Dio's like, that's your dog? Yeah, isn't he great? Shit, nigga, fuck Tiger. your dog. Oh my God, bro, somebody call Peter. This nigga just Tiger. take me the dog. Bro ain't even oh, no. been here for no. a minute and he already starting shit. Look at him, bro, he already ready to scrap. So the dad come out and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? And Dio's like, oh, I am terribly sorry. That filthy animal was in my personal space. So George tells Jonathan, Do you know how much of a hater you have to be to hate on a dog? That's just, that's, come on now. What we, what I we listen, really Dio's gonna be living here from now on. So Jonathan goes over to touch his bag, but Dio grabs his hand and elbows him in the chest. So he comes down and he's like, Listen, little nigga, this is my house now. I run this bitch, so I wanna hear sh from your little spoiled ass. I'm about to make your life hell. So as time goes on, as they start living together, Jonathan's having this boxing match. So the ref's like, hey, uh, just to let you know, your opponent got changed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you gonna be fighting him. Oh my God. Oh, the like he just enjoyed Round one. so much. Fight. <laughs> oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, he can't even hit him. And a beautiful body shot landed by Dio. And a beautiful right straight to the jaw. Good hands. Good hands. Oh my god, yo, this man just washed him in front of his hometown. So after Dio humiliated Jonathan, Jonathan started talking to you know Arena and everything. So this man Dio decided to do the pettiest. Sh he pulls up on her and says, hey. You Jojo girl, he been looking a little happy lately, and I don't like that a bit. Oh my gosh, bro, this man is so petty. He says, First of all, you going to jail. You're going to jail now, and you're going to jail, all right? I don't know what, chill. Second of all, golly, this boy. Oh, you thought your first kiss was going to be with Jojo? <laughs> nah, it was with me, nigga. Come up deal that. So later on, Jonathan ends up running up on Dio. And bro's like, how dare you raise your voice at me? You should learn some respect. So he elbows him in the nose. And bro's like, ha, ha, stupid little nigga. You just mad because I raised up your girl real good. But then Jonathan just started laying the hands on him. Hit this man with the Dempsey roll. 
So Dio was like, You gotta up on him at that point. How dare you lay your hands on my beautiful face? I swear to God, I'm gonna shake your ass. Oh, see, but uh, then George uh, ends up it. stopping him. So Dio's like, I don't think you're getting away with this. He I don't take hell. Shank on so later uh -uh. on, the butler is walking outside and he's at the furnace and he sees this box. So he's like, Oh, it's just a box. So he lights the furnace, but then something starts banging. So then later on in the what? day, they having a funeral because the dog was in the furnace. <laughs> oh my God, bro. This man, Dio, nah. put the dog in the furnace. Nah, game over. He won. I don't know how CJ keeps bringing more and more uh, ignorance on and, and more and more demonic characters but to yeah burn them. oh my god Hell, so a couple of years pass and they end up becoming friends well not really because this man dio is fake as hell so george Hell. joestar has gotten sick and he has a very bad cough so the thing is dio has been giving this man medicine the whole time but not his real medicine this man has been poisoning him the entire time and then jonathan figured out wait a minute didn't your dad have the same symptoms too? Oh my God, you killed your father. No. So then Dio's like, are you no, trying stop. to press me right now? So he ends up swinging on Jonathan, but Jonathan just ate that John. Boy was like, bro, you best get to stepping out of my house. So he ends up throwing him off the balcony. So Jonathan's like, you a fake ass nigga. And I'm calling the cops. You need to leave. So Dio ends up dipping, but he takes the stone mask. Oh, so no. later on, he out here drunk as hell. So he ends up running what? into these two dudes. So bro smacks him in the jaw. And he's like, mm, this is the perfect time. Time to test out this stone mask. So he puts it on this dude and runs him into the other dude. So it stabs him. So then the mask activates with the blood and he done turned this man into a whole vampire. So the dude starts to choke him out, but that top of the morning end up getting his ass. On the top of all this, he knows Farak too. On the top of all the hating, he's knows Farak too also. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What? So after this deal pulls back up to the house, so Jonathan runs up on him. He was like, yeah, I done figured out you've been poisoning my dad. So Dio's trying to plead his case. Then Speedwagon in the corner like, I, I, I don't trust that nigga with his old cap and ass. And then George is behind the curtains. So Dio's like, well, I ain't got nothing to lose now. Bring me that ass. So he ends up stabbing George. And he's like, <laughs> yes, it's Marvin Tom. So they end up shooting him and Dio ends up going out the window. So that about a minute later, while everybody thinking he dead, they're like, uh, why is his body gone? And he rips this man's head clean off. And now he's a whole ass vampire. So now you done supercharged the hater. Now you done made him uh, Morbius. Hmm? Now it's Morbin time for him. Really? Okay. All right. Y'all messed so up. Bro just started bodying everybody in the house. <laughs> So then he goes over to fight Jonathan, but he ends up burning him. But obviously that ain't do nothing. He just shrugged it off. And yo, look at this man walking up the wall like a Louis Vuitton model. What the f***? Nigga said Kim K got shit on me. And look at Jonathan. He like, oh my God, his zestiness is too strong. So man's had to tackle him all the way from the roof and impale this man on a spear. So he can finally burn the ash, but obviously that's not going to work. Hello? So Mine after this, Dio does a bunch of shenanigans. Time? First off, this man turned Jack the Ripper into a vampire. So then he goes over and takes over this entire village, turned basically. I didn't know JoJo's Bizarre World was about vampire slaying. I had no idea that that was a thing. So shout out to CJ. Almost everybody into zombies. Kidnapped this little boy's sister. Stepped on this dog. Oh. What the f is that, that bro? You. Like, honest to God. And then, what? oh boy, this is probably I'm the worst thing this man ever did. So he got this lady and her baby up here. So she's like, please, please just spare my child. And Dio's like, <laughs> bitch, please, who you think I is? Your baby daddy? I ain't got time to take care of your damn kid. So he turns her into a zombie and makes her eat her baby. Wait. No, no. Vampire or zombie? Does he just have the power of turning people into universal monsters or what is that? Is he going to turn someone to Frankenstein next or? No, I'm done. No. 
This is probably the first time I've ever done this, but I don't care. Go ahead and sit down, bro. I, I, I'm done. This is the most demonic shit I have ever seen besides, besides when Boo faded niggas in heaven, this is right behind it. What the actual f I don't know, fake news Nah, bro, we ain't even know what exhibit A, and I just had to go ahead and sit the man's, bro. Fake I know, I had to give this man a fast pass. He skipped the line. Bro said, yeah, I'll spare him, I. So after a bunch of traumatic ass events, Jonathan finally pulls up on deal. So he's like, wow, congratulations. Yeah, you beat block. all of my sub bosses. Tell me, tell me real quick. How's that Zeppeli pack hitting? <laughs> so then they about to scrap, but Dyer comes in and he's like, no, this is my fault. Oh, so ugly. he jumps up to kick him, but Dio grabs both of his legs and makes him do the split. <laughs> <laughs> then he freezes his entire body. Then he says, you know, men shouldn't oh, do the splits, right? Because that's how you break your bones. <laughs> Yo, bro shattered this man's body. So then Jonathan comes in and slices him in half with his sword. But Dio's like, <laughs> you really thought that old bullshit was going to work? Say psych right now. Let me tell you something right the now. Yo, I'm on training. It's ass. You are ass. So then Dio jumps at him, but Jonathan hits him with this 1080 oh, fucking oh. punch. Oh. So Dio's like, impossible! <laughs> Fight back! You marry the Fight back. So some time passes. So Jonathan and Arena end up getting married. So while they are on their honeymoon, Jonathan ends up seeing one of Dio's assistants. So he runs after him and they end up going to this casket. So bro opens the casket and he pulls Dio's head out of the casket. Then Dio really? says, happy honeymoon, nigga. Hey, hey, first off, I just want to give my congratulations, even though I did steal your girl's first kiss. Congratulations, my bad, I couldn't make the wedding, bro. <laughs> I knew like, I would have uh, been your best ball. man, right? Tell me, tell me something real quick. How my lips taste? <laughs> so bro. Am I, am I bugging? The, why he kind of look like the anime Jake Paul? I mean, Logan Paul. Laser beams this man, turns everybody on this ship into zombies, and ends up jacking this man's body. And he rested at the bottom of the ocean for years, 1889 to 1983. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's finally time to move that on to- That was just Exhibit A? Exhibit B. My man, right, CJ, be making I now videos, present to you, I swear to God. Exhibit B, Dio. So after Dio came out of his casket in 1983, this is when he took stuff to the next level. Bro was on his Kanye arc. Nigga dropped off There's his last name level and said, to take you it? know me as capital D, capital I, capital O. Mans was going around beating cheeks, beat some cheeks made Bruh. Jorno, beat some old cheeks, had Bruh. three other ugly ass kids with Jonathan's body and he would just drink their blood after he finished beating their cheeks then he ended up meeting poochie his hating ass successor passed down his hating ass ideology to this nigga, got I mean, his stand from any of the ha the second you see his eyebrows you should have known you feel me that's an untrustable person that's that's a person that's not worthy of trust look at those his eyebrows connect to his hairline nah bro Nah. Ags ugly ass. And yo, this man was just so mysterious at the beginning of Stardust Crusaders. You ain't even see his face till like 45 episodes later. Everybody just had stories of meeting him. Avdol was like, yeah, yeah, I saw that nigga. I was walking up the stairs, right? And I saw this big motherfucker. He was licking his lips and shit. But I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't into that freaky shit, you feel me? So I jumped out the window and the guy hit the dash, bro. I was stepping. Then they ran into Polnareff. Polnareff was like, yeah, I remember that nigga. Yo, he brainwashed me and shit. Man, took me into this room and he had the gypsy ball and shit. Nigga was like, I can tell your future. And he brainwashed this man Kakioin too. But nah, nah, it's what he did to whole horse. While Dio was reading a book, this man really tried to pull a gun on him. Then when Rocky. he's about to shoot him, Dio's like, are you positive you want to pull that trigger? Then bro teleports right behind him. And he was like, ooh la la, I liked how you pulled that gun out on me. We should do this more often. Dog had this man shaking in his boots. So when they finally get to Egypt after facing all the sub bosses, Polnareff ends up walking up on this staircase and finally finds Nah, bro. I, I, I can't let that one slide. The man upped on him. He instant transmission behind home. Didn't even attack him. Just said, 
That was cool. We should do this again. That's Black Air Force energy. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Nah. It's Dio. So Dio's like, wow, congratulations. Y'all made it. I mean, you down two people, but <laughs> congratulations. Hey, but I'll tell you this, though. I you thought woke I knew up that step. Bizarre world. I had dead. no idea. Take a step, I dare you. So he tries to climb it, but he keeps on climbing the same stair over and over and <laughs> over so again. Stupid. Dio's like, wow, what's wrong? You on 400 pink or some shit? You know what? While you struggle with your lag spikes, I'm going to sit in this chair that's conveniently here right over this staircase. So then everybody else finally ends up coming in. So Dio's like, hmm, the sunlight. I must retreat. So about a minute later, they climb this staircase and they see this casket. So Joseph's like, hey, ugly ass boy, open the casket. So Hola, he boy. opens the casket and he sees himself <laughs> in the casket. So they like, oh shit, hey, Junga. Yo, the fact that this man deal. Game over, you gotta get out of there. Yeah, take your ball, go home. That's all you need to see, you feel me? I don't even know why you got involved in this. Someone said, hey, y'all want to go against the uh, generational hating vampire? Yeah. So put this man in the casket like that. Man's killed him in the blink of an eye and shoved him in the casket just so he could give him a little scare. So they are running away and deals like, ah, oh, yes, the hunt begins. So later on, bro, walking down the street, and he's like, hmm, I like this car. So Dog's like, hey, what you think you're doing, cuz? This car he belongs to the senator. But he just breaks his arm and hops in the car. So then he looks at the senator, rips out his two front teeth, and he says, mm, looks like you got a date with the tooth fairy tonight. Now get your ass in the front seat and drive. So while they driving, they hit a traffic jam. So the senator's like, yo, I can't drive. Then Dio says, uh, you know the sidewalk's wide open, right? So he starts driving on the sidewalk and Dio says, floor it. So he made this man run over oh, all these on, people bruh. just to get out of a traffic jam. Jesus Christ. So he finally ends up catching up to him. So Kakioin tries to use Emerald Splash. No, he's, he's the biggest hater, man. I'm sitting here at a loss for words, bro. Nah, he is the biggest hater. It ain't even really Black Force energy as much as it, you got to call it something else. This is just pure salt. Just the saltiest, most hatingest. Sean, but what? Just looks you wake at it, up to hate. Like, wow, so pretty. Get the shit out of my face. This bro sucks. So why they keep on driving, he blows the senator through their car. So they end up dipping and going on top of the roof, so Dio follows them. So then Kakyoin sets up this trap. So it's like, ha ha, I have you now. So show me your stand ability. So Dio's like, I right, then witness true hatred. <laughs> so then oh, Dio goes over to him and says, This is my stand ability. Zoratio. I can stop time and ratio anybody in the amount of mere seconds. In just a blink of an eye, oh, I could freeze that's your that's account that's and gain hundreds. No, thousands of likes before you even gain one. <laughs> now, I'm about to fist you. That's an NBA young boy fan. And like, no pause, <laughs> because we're already paused. Resume. <laughs> so Joseph was like, oh, nah. What's the best thing I know how to do? Run. Hit the Jets and get the step. So while he's chasing Dippers. Joseph down, he ends up punching him off this roof. So Joseph sees Jodo and he's like, oh my God, my nigga, do not come any closer. So then Dio sees him and he's like, mm, both of them at the same time. Time to end this mid-ass bloodline. The ratio! So then Dio comes down and just starts walking towards him, smacking cats, smacking people like they hate animals, he's bro. He's like, hmm, I could only used to give one L at a time, but now I can give two. It'll eventually be 10 to 20 to thousands. So I leave you with my parting gift. Is he gonna do it? And with that, ratio. So then he looks at Jotaro and he's like, hmm. Your next little nigga. So Jotaro starts walking towards him. So he's like, huh? Why so he you're approaching me? Freeze? You trying to fall off like your granddaddy nigga? Why he didn't just attack him when he, the time was froze? Why'd he unfreeze it? Can someone explain that one to me? That don't make no sense. You had you had his number. Yeah, you caught him lacking. But he's like, nah. 
I gotta get closer to you so I can beat the shit out your ass. So Dio's like, mm, I like that. I like that energy. Go, come get this face. <laughs> so they start boxing and Dio hits him with this nasty look. And he's like, mm, that's what I used to hit your great great granddaddy with back in the day. Now catch this ratio. So they keep on scrapping, so Dolo ends up punching him into this jewelry store. Got but it. while he's knocked out, he gets up and looks at the lady. He's like, hey, make yourself useful and fetch me my leg. So she started to get scared, so he said, bitch, hurry the f up and give me my goddamn leg. So he ends up killing her and taking her blood, and he's like, oh, we just getting started, you overgrown man child. I hope you're ready for a knife party. So then bro ended up throwing all these knives at this man. Like, can somebody please tell me where this man was storing all of these knives at? Like, nah, for like, ain't no way that- He been locked up before. You don't even ask, you don't even ask that. They got a way, yeah. That's their little banger, you feel me? Yeah, that's their little Kisu, you feel me? Okay, just all right. That belt buckle handled all of those. <laughs> so he ended up stabbing him. So while he's on the ground, Dio's like, Damn. Mm. I guess I'll just kill him with this road sign. But then Polnareff comes from the top row. Ugly boy, and save the day. Stops. I mean, he's like, oh, that tickled. Go ahead, move to the side for me. So then the cops pull up, but Dio's like, really? <laughs> well, so then he starts controlling the other cop. And he's like, I, right, I need you to aim right and precisely right there. So he makes him shoot him. Mm -mm. And yo, this man is so determined mm -mm. to make sure that he is dead. Uh -uh. He is lying on the ground trying to hear a heartbeat. Bro's like, I better not hear this nigga take a breath. But you know what? Just to make sure, I'm going to chop off his head with this road sign. But Jotaro ended up cracking him upside the mm, head. And big, he hit him boy. so hard, he can't even move his legs. So he's like, ah, no, I got to go. So he ends up stopping time and hanging on to the back of his taxi. But then Jotaro ends up chasing him down. And why is he in the sewer right now? So then he ends up sending Dio flying. Mm, but then this yep, man Dio starts hands. screaming good at him. Hands. He's like, ha ha, you fool. You fell for my trap. Don't you remember this same street? So we ended up punching him to the street that Joseph's body is at. And he ends up taking all of his blood. He sucked that man dry. Pause. And now he's awakened no Dio. And bro is a losing his mind. He's like, mm, yes, this glorious power is even giving me green lipstick. Oh, I can't like wait to give you a big, hold, fat, I ain't gonna lie, juicy kiss. So they start scratching <laughs> again. And Dio was just starting to go off the deep end. Now. He's just like, freaky as hell. This body is so juicy. Now run me my money, nigga. So Jotaro ends up going flying. So Dio's like, oh, Jojo. What do you think you're doing, you sack of shit? Oh, no. Shout out to Bonds, but he just asked him how much his eighth was. Shout out to Bonds, bro. Yeah. Make sure you follow Bonds on social media. He, Bonds is one of the most hilarious comedians online, I swear to God. But he asked him how much his eighth was. How much your eighth? Right there. Right there. With this final attack, I will finally end your mid ass bloodline for good. The ratio! So mm -hmm. then he comes down and he's like, mm -mm. Mm, I'm about to create the greatest meme in anime history. One elf has passed. Two elves have passed. Three elves have passed. So we gotta be thinking, okay, yo, what is this man charging up? It's gotta be like a spirit bomb or a Sengon, a Getsuga, or I don't know, a dragon fist. No, this man does the unthinkable. He came back with a whole whip. This man dropped a steamroller on him. He, he dropped, dropped a steamroller on him. Who in their right mind? You know what? He wins. Dio, you win, bro. I don't, I don't know. You was trying to get extra credit on the Black Force Energy. Think of this. Bro saying, hmm, I could end his life with anything right now. You know what I want to do? I'm going to fly over to this construction site. Grab this big ass steamroller. Fly it all the way back and slam it on this what? That That is just doing the most. So then he starts beating. And for the longest time, for all these years, I thought, yo, he's beating the hell out of this with his fist. No, no, take a closer look. He is beating this with elbows. his elbows. He got all some elbows. elbow action going on with this. So then he's like, he more tired in this nigga. Oh, no. All elbow worked. <laughs> you know, your elbow actually harder than your fist, right? They call this the switchblade. If you, <clears throat> that's how you cut somebody is with these right here. I'm just, all right, okay. It's no use, you fella! Oh, shit! So then 
and Dio's like, yes, <laughs> I finally done it after all these long years. <laughs> Ratio power! <laughs> I have finally ratioed the entire f***ing Joestar family. All you bitch ass niggas fell the f*** off. My ratio power has now exceeded to Yeah, now this generational hate for sure. Dio ends up realizing he can't move because Jotaro just stopped time. It was like, impossible. This is bullshit. So then he ends up kicking him off the steamroller. Wait, how did he learn so that then they end up having one final clash. But then Jotaro hit him with a counter ratio. <laughs> then he says, you know, man, there's only one reason why you lost. You just simply pissed me off. Get off my family dick. So, yeah, uh, I mean, I already sat the man. So what more could I say? I mean, I could get into some of the stuff that happens in part six, but that would be getting into spoilers for anime only. So I'm not going to do all that. But uh, yeah, bro, this man is a menace. This is a demon incarnate man tormented this family for damn near 100 years, made a lady eat her own child. And along with dropping a steamroller on a nigga, no, the world up and I'm a the pass, this test you. with ease. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot to record the outro, so I'll just leave y'all with this. <laughs> Yo, bruh. Oh, man. Hold on. What the heck?